Hello everyone, welcome back to web development training. In the last video, I showed you how you can use Visual Studio with Azure account to host your website on the Azure. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use GoDaddy web hosting feature to host your website over the GoDaddy using FileZilla. So first you have to log in with your, you have to log into your GoDaddy account with your credential after that you have to find the domain whatever the domain you have after that you have to copy your IP address and then open your FileZilla application so this is the FileZilla application enter the IP address in the host copy your user ID paste in the username after that you have to enter your password whatever the GoDaddy password you have. Enter the password and input enter 21. After that you have to click on quick connect. When you click on quick connect, a certificate pop-up pop will shown on the screen. You have to click OK. And then it will take few seconds and under the menu you find at tabrezizas.com so this is the tabrezizar.com i am going to deploy this web training project into the tabrezizar.com previously i deployed it on the web training for free dot azure website dot net so in this video i'll show you how you can deploy it using the web hosting feature of GoDaddy. so oh, double click on tabrezizar.com then the folder will be opened after that you have to open your asp.net web application search for open the file folder in the explorer copy the path and go back to filezilla and paste your path over here and hit enter when you hit enter you got all the files all these files app data app start and about.expx here copy all the files copy all the files and then just click on right click on the selected file and click upload when you click on upload then you as you see here everything is verifying and the connection is established now and the file is uploading on the ftp that whatever the ftp is already is using actually so it will take few seconds or maybe a few minutes because the so many files are queuing up here you can see quit file 455 and here you can see you are able to see what are the files are successfully transferred okay so wait for a few minute and after that when your file is completed you can go back to your browser and search for tabrezizas.com okay if you uh, hit enter and you uh, if you try to open the tabrezizar.com at this time you did not receive everything because currently it is uploading all the files over the ftp so you can <laughs> you can see uh, the error like this uh, server error applications many of the errors of type every time if you refresh this maybe the different error will occur in the next time so see now it's a different error so wait for few minutes until all the files is uploaded onto the code ID FTP after the file is uploaded or transferred then you are able to see your web application ESP.NET project on www.thebrazer.com Oh, finally, after a few minutes, all the files are uploaded on the FTP. We see here I have uh, 31 files and 8 directories here. And here I have 20, 32 files and 8 directories because uh, one of the files, config files, I did not upload it. If you want to confirm that, so uh, is all the files are successfully uploaded, you can see here queued files. If no queued files is here, then all the files is uploaded successfully to your uh, domain. Now go back to browser and try to run the 
means try to enter the brazesars.com and hit enter if the site is loaded oh wow voila uh, all my content of asp.net website project is loaded currently and you are able to see all the same changes over here as i showed you in the previous demo how to upload or host your website using the azure technique so because because of that it's uh, contains uh, azure website.net because i host this to the azure and it is host on using the godaddy i bought the domain from godaddy and using the ftp transfer process to by using filezilla to upload all the files on the uh, godaddy server and after uploading your site is if is your site is up and running then everything is good so i hope you understand how it is so easy to upload your or host your file using godaddy and azure so if you like this video subscribe our channel give a thumbs up if you have any question ask in the comment thank you for watching have a nice day